everybody. Welcome into Studio 10. We're finishing our Dale's Cook-Off Challenge with Chef Emer from uh, Emer's Household. I don't know. From America. Uh, from the United <laughs> States of America. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. But <laughs> he's making something really good. I'm really excited about it today because you're kind Are of Are you? I am. I really am. Um, I, I this is really fancy, so I'm really excited. Yeah. But he is cooking with bacon. Um, yeah, so tell our friends at home what you're making. All right, so this is, is our Dale seasoning cook-off challenge, as you mentioned. So what I'm trying to make, what I'm attempting to put it's together, is a bed of four cheese risotto. So a creamy layer on the bottom. Yeah. On top of that, we're gonna have a bacon onion Brussels sprouts mix um, in this wok that I cook with a little bit of the Dales. Yeah. On top of that, we're gonna put a filet mignon that's been marinated in Dale's and then on top of that we're gonna put some garlic herb butter I feel like anything with garlic herb butter just automatically wins everything oh man I'm excited about it's it it's gonna be super super good so right now you're kind of working on this bacon and you're getting ready to do your veggies so you told me about the process earlier so you're using the grease correct yeah so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna cook the bacon and then I'm gonna take the bacon out because okay. I don't want it to overcook when I add the other stuff so I'm gonna set it down here just on this uh, little plate. Paper plate. Paper plate. plate with a napkin. And then I'm going to add the onions in. I'm going to add the Brussels sprouts in. When those get about done, I'm going to drizzle it with some Dales, get yeah. that flavor in there. And then I'm going to add the pre-cooked bacon back in. And that, that to me is almost as good as right. the filet. I mean, that's the, you you have said in the past that you are not a Brussels sprouts person. I'm not, but I am up for trying anything. I'm trying to make a believer out of so, you. So, yeah, so I'm super excited to try that. Something that I really like is that you're using Dale's for your veggies, too, not just the marinade for your meat. Yes. Does that give me extra points with the judges? Maybe That I've so. infused it in multiple parts of the dish? And judges, every. are you listening to this? Because Hal didn't do that. Yours, yeah. yours wasn't separate parts it was just kind of all kind, kind of, of together yeah so yeah. it was all kind of together but you have a dish and a side mm -hmm. so you're using it for your side as well so really excited about this when we come back what will you be doing so when we come back I'm leaving all this bacon grease in there when I take out the bacon I'm not gonna take out the bacon grease I'm gonna leave that in there to cook the onions and the Brussels sprouts get that flavor in there so we're gonna add those things in we'll have those going and then we're gonna start to sear off the fillets in here oh yeah I'm excited all right we'll stay with us we'll see how Joe Joe's dish turns out at the Dale's Cook-Off Challenge. Hey everybody, welcome back in the kitchen with Joe Emer himself. I'm gonna say I'm, this is only a second segment, but I'm a little impressed. He's using everything that you, every ingredient you're using, like the bacon grease. Uh -huh. So for our friends at home, we're just now tuning in. Yep. Tell them what you're making. We are right here. We've got some Brussels sprouts and we've got the olive oil and the bacon grease and you can put the Brussels sprouts in there. Okay. And we left the bacon grease in to help yes. cook these Brussels sprouts. We want to get them nice and coated and all that goodness. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that you know about grease. that goodness? I know about it. Um, too. And so this is just one of the things that we're going to drizzle some Dale on drizzle some Dales with it not yet in a little bit but we also have these fillets so once I get these nice and coated in this segment I'm gonna add those to this mix as well I'm gonna sear them mm. about two minutes on each side okay and then I'm gonna put it in the oven for, for, about, how, for about six to eight minutes. So what will the steak be like medium, medium rare? Um, See, that's kind of depending upon your personal preference. Six mm. minutes to be on the medium rare side, 10 minutes if you want it really well done. Hopefully right. somewhere in the middle right. of those two is, is what I'm going for. You also have some risotto. I just tried it for the first time mm, ever. Risotto. Which is so good. And he has a lot of risotto. It's thickening up. It's, it's getting like ready to half go. of the pot. So a lot of risotto for mm. a lot of people to eat. Yes. But the colors are coming out pretty nicely in these uh, Brussels sprouts. Once you get that heat on that green, it pops. It pops. This is a very colorful dish. One of the things I'm really trying to do with my dish here is some food art. Oh. When I plate this, I want it to look bam. Okay, I feel like it will. Bam you got your wop. Bam wop. Bam. <laughs> Okay. Um, wow. okay. Hey, so I've got this really hot. We can see a semen. So this is going to be hot and on purpose. And some extra virgin olive oil yep. from Rouse's. And so we're going to go. Okay. Now is this just Dale's marinade? Yep, just yeah. it. That's, that's right. That's what we want. We want that sear. We want it to be coming like this. We want to turn the fan on in the studio. But we ain't got no fan. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn. So we're gonna let that go for about a minute and a half on each side. Yeah. Turn it over, get the other side, and then put it in. For some reason, I always thought you had the grill steak. I've never seared it before. So this is kind of one of those things a lot of people are talking about is the fact that you can sear it on both sides, then put it in the oven to get yeah. it done. Now, not that there's anything wrong with grilling. I love to grill. Yeah. Get me on a grill, and I'm and you'll chill. grill. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, we definitely want to get this going here. So what, the, the, see the thickness of it? Yeah. It's like an inch and a half thick. So by getting that sear on each side, you get that like grill-like crust flavor. Right. But then you bake it all the way through in the oven. Oh, yeah. and it kind of saves you a little bit of time too. That's not going to take long at all. No, nope, not going to take long. I feel like I can do steak at home then. Yeah, you can do steak. Let me turn it up a little bit. Yeah. Because I want this to get a little bit of brown to it. Right. You want too. it just want a little bit burnt. A little bit crispy. People think of Brussels sprouts and they think of the steam in the bag or like the old school like boiling and like yeah. that's not how I like my Brussels sprouts. No. I feel like this is going to be really good and they're kind of falling apart too so it's not just the big yeah. chunks. You have yeah. your different layers. You know what I'm talking about. Oh goodness. Okay. Well coming up we're going to flip these and we're mm -hmm. going to put the steaks in the oven just looking good. Yep. Yep. Looking good. And then we'll add the dales, add the bacon bits, and we'll eat, right? That's the plan. Dan? Sure. Stan? Nice job. Okay. Stay with <laughs> us. We'll be back and can't wait to try what Joe's making. We are back for the Dale's Cook-Off Challenge, the last challenge, the last segment of Joe's. And he, right now he's pouring some Dale's on his veggies. And I will say, uh, before this, I wasn't mm -hmm. a big fan of Brussels sprouts, but I've been nibbling on a piece every, Ooh, every yeah. now and then. And I really do like it. I think it's good. We're getting that Dale's goodness in here. Looks good. Do I need to keep talking this loud? Nope. Nope. No. <laughs> talking too loud. <laughs> he's so excited. So he's got filet of He's got risotto, four cheese risotto, Brussels sprouts, onions, bacon, all cooked in bacon grease. Yo, 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 hold and up. It, hold up. Let me do this. Plate. Snaps. Waps. Oh, look at that color all coming together. Okay. You got my butter got things butter. ready to go? Yep, I got it. You want to spread it out so you see a little bit underneath. Uh, okay. Snaps. Oh, that one needs a little bit more. Oh. There like, we go, there we go. That I looks like, good. I don't like this. Nope. nope. I don't like that. There too. Bam! Put a, put a, put some butter on that. Put some butter on that. Bam! Put some butter on that. Oh, nope. Placement. Okay. Put some butter on that. So what is this dish called, Joe Emer? This is called four cheese risotto with Brussels sprouts <laughs> and bacon and onion and stuff. Look, does that look like you're going to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse or something? It does. Check that out. Bam! He's oh, wait. So I'm going to add some cracked pepper to everything. Bam, 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 bam. Beautiful. Oh, man. Job well done. I mean, we didn't even eat it, though. I know. Oh, yeah, true. We got to well, try I it. think it's going to be good. We got we to gotta let so the I've judges try it out. I've tried everything but the steak. So Joe's just going <laughs> to... Am know. I on the wrong side here? You are on the Ooh, wrong side. Ooh, that filet is done perfectly. Get a All close right. up. Oh, the butter fell. The butter fell. The butter fell off. Okay. All right. So we've got to try a piece. Okay, okay. <laughs> You're back. You know, you know it's good when the person who's been on TV for 20 years walks directly in front of the camera the whole time. Yeah, that's right. Okay. All right, I got to plate the other two. You you do that. Okay, I'm trying to We'll get the judges to try it out, and then next week on Studio 10, that's when we, like, reveal the winner or something. High five. Good job. High plate. Mm. I'm busy in the kitchen. 